Hello and welcome to the Vue.js Full Stack Web Development course. In this course, we are going to build a practical e-commerce website with Vue.js, Firebase, AWS, and Stripe for payment. So, of course, uh, between AWS and Firebase, I will choose one of them, which I will say in the next video. And why I choose one, I will tell you the reason as well. So, this is the first video, and I am going to show you the old way to use Vue.js and why you should not use it the thing is beside teaching you step by step of Vue.js I'm going to show you around the documentation as well if you know how to use documentation you will not stack anywhere in your app development because documentation will give you everything you want but it is a bit difficult for beginners to know where to look and what to look in the documentation that is what I'm going to teach you beside uh, building our application and the first few videos are the basic of Vue.js feel free to skip them if you have the basic knowledge of Vue.js but for those who are completely beginner to Vue.js or they want to learn some more knowledge about Vue.js and some tips and tricks you can watch the videos so in this video I will show you the old style of using any JavaScript framework so in the documentation you go to learn to the guide this is where you can start so if you start from here I will scroll down a little bit and the easiest way to get started using Vue.js is just include it in your project and you are good to go this is good for beginners but for advanced users who know about Node.js and Node build tools this is not what you do we are going to use Vue CLI for that that is what I am going to introduce in the next video but for now I will show you how you can set up it uh, like the old way for beginner there is two files you can include the development version and the production version the difference is if you use the production it is not going to show you any warning if you have in your application it is going to be small and it's the speed is high this is mostly when you push your project for the production and you can use the this link for development it is going to give you a nice errors or any warning if your application has any error so you can read the, the warning and you can fix the problem you have for now we will use the development if i copy the code what i can do is i can go to desktop i have created a basic folder here inside the view folder i will open this in the vs code uh, of course beside the Vue.js, you will learn a lot of tips and tricks in vs code or virtual studio code and okay i will create an index.html file here and we will paste some we will use the html5 snippet and we will say day one what is the most important tips you can give a developer it is a it is a question like every developer is going to ask me and some 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 something that everyone wants to know is if you could every day like for one hour or two hour you can check your progress in one month or two months you will develop a lot I promise like if you just uh, take time and practice just one hour of coding every day you will develop a lot in one in one month or two months so that's why I call it day one just make it a practice like like 60 days like 100 days you will see the progress if you focus one hour every day for now let's focus on our coding so this is the pro tips i can give you so this is what you can include your Vue.js and how you are going to use this one you are going to write your custom javascript here and it is going to select our app here why we write app id here you can give any id of course here what we are going to say you are going to say anything i write inside the div with an id of app I'm going to run my view code here what does that means if you write anything outside this one I don't want the view to access those one of course I can select body and say anything inside the body I write I want Vue.js to access that one but for me I will write inside the app why because sometimes I don't want some of some part of my code let's say I have a, a Laura Mipson here and I don't want that to be uh, Vue.js do not I don't want them to be accessed by Vue.js that's why you can write your app here and anything you write inside this one Vue.js is going to accept that and Vue.js is going to manipulate it you can do anything with that with Vue.js now how Vue is going to understand that anything you write inside here you have to tell them 
how you do this one you can write a new instance of view like this this is how you say new view now what you can say you can say inside the view you can okay you know this parenthesis is an object so inside this one you can write any property you want so for now if Vue.js has an el property which takes the value el stands for element this is the selector what this is going to do it is going to say what you want to select so that i can run my code inside i can say app hash stands for id of course in the all web now what it is going to do it is going to say anything inside the app is going to be the Vue.js environment anything you write inside this one Vue.js can access can manipulate can manipulate can modify yeah it can modify it and that is how Vue.js is going to work now anything outside this one is not Vue.js environment or Vue.js cannot access that so for now let's do a, a basic example you can write the data property here these two are very common in Vue.js you have these two like el stands for element it is going to be selector and data is going to contain all your data you can pass the object and array anything you want for now let's say our data has a property called title and you can give a hello world example here hello world or hello Vue.js whatever you call you can call it I will save the file and now if you want to access this in your app this is very easy in Vue.js in the past using jquery you have to say or using uh, pure javascript you have to say document that get element by id you select that you change the text it is uh, like a very long way of doing but in view what you can do is you can open two parentheses here and inside this one you can write your property for the data this is the property of data which is the value is this one now the title will be displayed here if i save my file this copy and paste it here also in two places. This is our view environment. This is out of view. So if I come to index file and if I open it in the browser, as you can see, we say hello world here. But for second one, it does not display anything. Oh, it didn't save it. If I save it again, if I refresh, it is going to display the same text that we have. Why? Because view can view is not going to run outside the app because we said only search for. Uh, the element with an id of app and then run our code inside that is the most basic example you have now you can have multiple property let's say you have title let's say you have name and you have name here you can have number anything and you can you want to display it here just write the property name just save it let's give it let's say a br also breakpoint and if i refresh it it is going to hello world and ali is under that so this is the basic example of Vue.js very basic very simple and this is not what you are going to do for the rest of the course we are not going to do this style because there are so many reasons you shouldn't do if i come to the documentation they say that one here also that we do not recommend to we do, do not recommend beginner to use view cli but this was the basic you are not a beginner like if you you came here I will show you the basic but the thing is you should not use this one there are so many reasons why you should not use first of them we are going to use es6 es6 is the new version of javascript so if you are going to use es6 it is not going to work here you have to compile your es6 to a vanilla javascript that way it is going to work because your browser cannot understand es6 code that's why it is not going to work the other reason is when you develop a large application it is a bit hard to maintain your code like if you link let's say you have a lot of JavaScript frameworks here you have jquery you have bootstrap you have a lot more game if you are developing any game if you are developing any desktop application or mobile yes with JavaScript you can build your desktop application your mobile any game application if you are developing so so much complex application then this style of coding is not what you are going to do what you are going to do you are going to use es6 code you are going to use some package bundler it is going to take all of your javascript file and compile it into one file all of your css file into one file those are package bundlers and you can compile your code into a vanilla javascript those stuff that is when view cli is is going to help you 
and beside that view cli is going to help you for a lot more like creating templates and there is a lot with view cli that you can do but for beginner this was the basic example of vue.js that you can use very basic no configuration this is this is it you can use but for developing an advanced web application you are not going to do this one because we are going to learn es6 and maybe typescript it is going to be supported by vue.js and templating a lot of stuff that you can do with javascript and that is not going to work if you write the script like this that is when the modern web development tools come in come to play like node.js and npm and webpack stuff like that that is what we are going to cover in the next video so i hope it has been informative for you and as i said the first few videos are basic video feel free to skip them if you know the basic but there are so many things you can learn i can teach you the tips and tricks and if you don't want to miss them you can watch the video so that's it for this video and see you in the next video